Hello trainers! We are back in Koromon and we are in the research and development lab and I believe we're looking for Spruce. I don't think either one of these two people are Spruce but I want to talk to them for the sake of completion. I also have to check their trash cans because that's the law. Where can I find Spruce? Lisa says, I think he's somewhere in the back of the lab. Shine bright! Thank you, Lisa. I like that she's got gray streaks in her hair. I just think that's a nice little touch. It's so small and simple, but just like, I don't know, it's... I found an HP cake in the trash can. I'm sure that's sanitary and there's nothing wrong with this cake. Professor Spruce? Nope, says Donald. That's helpful. Okay, so I guess these people here aren't going to say anything to me until I talk to Professor Spruce. I say that, and I know they're not going to say anything. I think I'm going to have, you know, just be like, hey, do you know where Professor Spruce is? But I have to talk to them. I have a completionist mentality. I must talk to them, even though I know that they're not going to say anything useful. Where can I find Spruce? Marco says, I think he's somewhere in the back of the lab. Shine bright. Do you think they get their pay docked if they don't say shine bright? Professor Spruce? Jonathan says, nope. Jonathan and... Donald? Was that his name? I immediately forgot. Are real helpful there. Real, real chatty types. Um, okay, well, I'm guessing this is Spruce. Let me snoop around his lab first. I wonder what this is for. I wonder too. It kind of looks like it has one of those plasma walls on top. There's a spare gauntlet and a spinner on the table. Another gauntlet. They're probably using this one for research. At least I think this is a spinner. Uh... I think they would notice if I took this. Well, I, I didn't really want to take it, I just kind of wanted to know what it was, but okay, that's fair. I did just take somebody's cake out of their trash can. Let's talk to Spruce. Oh, this isn't Spruce. Hello, do you know where Spruce is? Casey says, I do. He's working in the restricted lab. One moment, and I'll go get him for you. Professor, you have someone to see you. Spruce says, yes. Hello. Are you my supervisor, Spruce? It's nice to meet you. I'm MJ. Ah, MJ. We've been expecting you. I'm Professor Spruce. I hope your time on campus so far has been educational. I've learned a lot already. I'm glad to hear that. Now it's time to put your talents to use out in the field. Come, we'll talk in my office. I just realized that Heckin Alder, I was pronouncing his name wrong the entire last episode. I don't know why I looked at it and was just like, Adler! And even though it was on screen like 50 billion times, proceeded to not read it a single time properly. It's it's Alder, A-L-D-E-R, not A-D-L-E-R. Hello, Editing Noel here to fix the sins of my past self. I didn't bring up Alder to discuss the pronunciation of his name. I brought up Alder because I wanted to point out that he made a that's how he rolls joke about Spruce. Hi. Uh, Dexter's here. I'm Dexter. I was told to report to you. Ah, great timing. Yes, the two of you will be working with me. Come. We were just headed for my office. Hey, Dexter, I hope you took care of your kiddo. I'm sorry that I had my kid punch yours in the nose, but, like, no hard feelings, right? Welcome to the R&D lab. You both applied to be field trainers for Lux Solace, traveling around Valua to gather data on Koromon. But you showed such great motivation that I believe your talents would be better suited to a more challenging task. Instead, I want the two of you to work with me on Project Chimera. Together, we will collect the Titan Essences using our newly developed Essence Collector. You will be the first trainers to use this Essence Collector in the field. Titan Essences? What are those? Titan Essences are embedded within elemental titans, creatures of immense power. Six of them are known to be in Valua. We want to extract the Titan Essence of each of these six titans. We believe each Titan Essence holds great potential, so we want to investigate them. 
I was about to say, I was like, this sounds a little bit dangerous and like messing with the laws of nature and that never really goes well in these sort of like monster catching games, but eh, it's fine. <laughs> what will happen to the Titans if we extract their Titan essences? Nothing at all. We've already managed to test the essence collector on a single Titan. They possess so much Titan essence that they will barely notice when we take some of them. Some of it. It's like a mosquito bite for them. Okay, so it's like donating blood. Wait, so you already have Titan essence? We had one, yes. We had to test our prototype module, but it wasn't able to contain the Titan essence for long. The current model doesn't have that problem. Our aim now is to have all six of them together. If we manage to get all six of them stored in a single essence collector, we believe that we can discover their full potential. Scientists exhaust me. I'm going to be real. <laughs> Scientists exhaust me. God love them. We need them, but like... What kind of madman just looks at a titan? I'm assuming he's going to be the equivalent god in this universe. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just like, a uh, yes... I want to go extract blood from that thing to find out what I can do with it. Like, what, what kind of personality do you have to have to have that mentality? I certainly don't have that mentality. <sighs> so going back with what, going back to Spruce's explanations. Our theory is that the Titan essences are much like the types of Koromon. Some are strong against one type and weak against another. If you mix them together in a squad, however, they balance each other out. I, I see. That that makes sense. The first titan you will go to is Volgar, the Bender of Storms. Volgar is located in the Power Tower at Donar Island, where he guides thunderstorms towards the island. I'm scared of thunder. Can we do somebody else? Be warned, though. You will probably have to defeat it in a battle before you will be able to extract titan essence. Ah, the titans. They are very strong creatures indeed. I got this. Let's go. Do you want to leave without the essence collector? Let me get them for you first. That's right, Dexter. The only time you running around has been appropriate has been to take care of your Cub Zero. The rest of the time you pushing me around is not acceptable. All right, here you go. I received an essence collector. And that's number two. Before you can use them, you need to get the module installed into your gauntlet. This is a precise task. There's only one person in Belua who is able to work with that level of precision. His name is Perrin, a good friend of mine. He's working as a blacksmith in Hayville. Is Perrin the one who is making the spinners? Is that what that lady in the, la the lab said? I, I didn't remember. Perrin the blacksmith. Got it. How do we get there? Hayville lies just beyond Radiant Park. Go east, and then follow the road through the woods. When you have the module installed, go east again until you reach Woodlow Harbor. There, a colleague of mine will take you to Donar Island. I will contact you through your Lux phone if anything comes up. Good luck to both of you. I'm going to stock up on supplies in the shop, then I'm on my way. Please stay out of my way. Dexter, you're such a little putz. I'm gonna kick you in the kneecap. Quest updated. Project Chimera. Press, press, quest started. Something like that. I would like to snoop around a little bit more. Some drawings of six glowing orbs. Find all six of the Titan essences. Their mysteries must be unraveled. But why? Like, what need do we have for them? I feel so tiny looking at the entire world. Like, just... It seems to be locked by strong electromagnets. Electromag Maybe I can shut them down somehow? <laughs> He's right there. I don't think we should necessarily be planning on how to steal his stuff right in front of him. Now that we've talked to Spruce, though, I do want to talk to everyone else and see if they actually have things to say. Or not, Marco says, Please don't disturb me. I'm trying to concentrate. Let's go back to... Kelsey? Casey? K Casey! The boss only allows a select few colleagues in the restricted lab. I'm still wondering exactly what they're doing in there. 
Jonathan says, This will be my best invention ever. And Donald says, The essence collector is able to absorb some of the essence of a titan. It doesn't work on normal Koromon. They simply don't have enough essence to share. It'll only work on the powerful titans here in Belua. And Lisa. Work, work, work. Gotta work. No time for a break. So why? Okay, but why, though? Why? Okay, we showed a lot of potential, which is very flattering. I do remember that I need to heal Mega, and I probably need to stock up on stuff like Donald is doing. That's a good idea. I know I have the cakes that he gave me, but if I can heal my kiddos for free, that'd be nice, right? Jan says, I always visit a trainer hub after adventuring for a while, not only to restore my Koromon, but also to get some rest myself. Billy says, do you see that machine over there? It's the Koromon storage machine. Trainers can use it to store and retrieve their Koromon. It's very useful since your gauntlet can only hold up to six Koromon spinners at a time. Okay, these are these two little recycling thingies that I mentioned in that lab last time. I was curious just because it specifies that like one in one out. And it looks like this one, it sounds like this one at least is for storing and retrieving Koromon. So I wonder, I wonder if the other one had a similar function or if it's just reused assets. I don't know. Hello, nurse. Welcome to the trainer hub. Would you like us to take care of your Koromon? Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Koromon for a moment. Thank you for waiting. We've fully restored your Koromon. Feel free to come back anytime. Shine bright. Okay, I was wondering if they were going to make me pay to come to the hub, because it would have been free to use my little cakes. But I, you know, I wanted to save them just in case I ever had an emergency. There's some spinners on the table in here, and there's also four big, like, human-sized test vials. I don't know what you call those. Storage containers or something? And they also have four spinners in them. I wonder what's going on there. Joanne says, Oh, hello. I'm sorry, we're not in business yet, but we're working hard to get our rebirth tanks operational. Rebirth tanks. I wonder if your Pokemon goes down, if this is how you revive them. Now what's going on in here? Is that a spinner floating in there? I can't interact with her spinners on the table. <laughs> so they were only going to be cheeky about me trying to interact with the other ones. The rebirth takes. I'm going to assume that if the Koromon faints, that's how you... And you're in, like, normal or easy mode, that's how you revive them. Um, I already talked to Jan. Oh, they have a little fish pond in here. That's kind of... Or... Are those fish? I guess those might be the stems of the lily pads. That's, that's nice, though. Nice and soothing for the healing. For the healing Koromon. Shop assistant says, Hello, trainer. You seem to be new in town. Here are some free coupons to help you on your way. You can use them to get a discount on your next purchase in any of our shops. Coupon 25% times one and one 50% coupon. Use them wisely. Uh, thank you. I am about to head up to your shop. I've already spoken to Tim before. He doesn't have anything new to say. I think I've spoken to this lab person before, Afra. I heard there are two new recruits arriving. I hope they have potential. Okay, yeah, so I think I derailed myself. Um, if we're brand new recruits, why are you trusting us with the big things? Surely you have somebody who you can promote within the system who actually has experience with the Koromon. Like, we're brand new recruits, and I'm instantly suspicious that I'm about to be the fall guy. And probably not, like, this is probably not that kind of game, but just, you're having me go after titans. I haven't worked for you before. You don't know who I am. You don't, like, know that I'm trustworthy. I haven't proven myself. And I'm sure you have people who have more than just a baby Koromon. So if you're trusting two people with brand new technology, unless they have, like, a lot of these modules, like, why? Why, though? Yasmin says, my Koromon got hurt in our last battle. I'm buying enough HP cake this time so I can reach Hayville safely. Stan says, All of these items will be so useful, but I can't afford any. Maybe I could challenge other trainers to earn some gold. Um, can I actually interact with any of these? No, it's just gonna go talk to the person to get a menu, isn't it? I mean, that's fair. Going from aisle to aisle would be tedious. I just wondered if I could. 
Shopkeeper says, good day to you. How can I assist? I would like to buy some items, please. I have 3,669 gold. Okay, they sell HP cakes, small HP cakes, which restore 20 HP. I own four already. Small SP cakes, they restore 20 stamina points. I have two of them. Iced cake, cure Koromon of its burn. Lifted cake, cure Koromon of its curse. Spicy cake, thaw out a Koromon, removing freeze. Detox cake, remove poison from a Koromon. Ground cake, cure Koromon of its shock. Oh, that's clever. And a Kaffee, a Kaffee cake. Wake a Koromon up from its sleep. I know I'm going to want to have these on hand, but I just don't know, am I going to interact with any... Am I going to interact with anything that's going to make me need them? Let's see, 650, 850, 1050, 1350. Okay, so I can afford to buy one of each. I am going to, just so that I have them just in case. I don't imagine that I'm immediately going to be going up against things that do this to me, but what if? And then what if Mega gets hurt? Because And I could have... I could have prevented it. Okay, let me make sure I buy the most expensive things to get those percentages off. Let's see. Cure a Koromon of its burn. Yes, I want just one. Wait, how do I... How was I supposed to use my... Did I just automatically get the discount and I didn't notice? Iced cake, ground cake... No, it doesn't look like it's using the discount card automatically, which I guess I'm just going to buy it or save it next time. Uh, let me go through and buy one of these, one of all of these real quick. So I have at least one of everything. I bought one of each of the status cakes. I'm not going to buy any extra health or stamina cakes. I'm sure I will need them later, but I'm just going to save them for now. Oh, they have spinners. There's a standard spinner, a device for catching Koromon that looks like the plain gray ones that I was given, or an elemental spinner, it's a plain spinner. A spinner designed to efficiently catch normal type Koromon. Um, yeah, I think I want one of these just because it looks a little bit prettier than the sad gray one. It's expensive, but I'm just going to get one, and if I run into a Koromon that I happen to know is normal, I don't really but i think maybe i'll be able to click on them would you like to use one of your coupons oh that's nice the coupon isn't for one item it's for all of them i'm going to go ahead and use the 25 percent one The shopkeeper says, have a nice day. Thank you, sir. You too. Shine bright and all that. Okay, so is there anyone left in this town that I have not spoken to? I don't think so. I've spoken to... Oh, there's a battle going on here. Huh. Robert says their battle skills are showing good progress. Jacoby says, that's right, exploit your opponent's weaknesses. I mean, it sounds so harsh when you just say it like that. I'm so excited for the next arena competition matches. It's really amazing to watch. You can learn, oh, I already read this. You can learn a lot by watching professional trainers battle too, says Zara. Zara said the same thing. I thought might be it might be different because there was a battle going on. Cindy is asking her, it almost looks like a Toruga, but it's got big bunny ears. I don't know what it is. Cindy is asking her kiddo to use Slam, and Jeremy wants his Slither Pin, I think. He says, come on, we got this. Go! Both of you, I don't really have... Oh, it is a Slither Pin. Let's see what this one is. Armado. I want an Armado. I love Armadillos. I want an Armado. Okay. So I think we can go out and about into the world now. Did he tell me to go south? I don't remember. Casey says, wait up. Hey, MJ, remember me? I'm Casey, Professor Spruce's assistant. Sorry to bother you again, but Professor Spruce asked me to give you these recall gadgets. If you need to return to the campus quickly, you can use these to instantly teleport back to the trainer hub here. I received two Lux recall. 
Just access it via your inventory to use it. Nifty, huh? Each one only has one charge, but you can stock up on them in shops. I did see those, I just didn't care. But it's nice to have for free. I just didn't want to spend my money on them when I don't have a ton of money. I gotta rush back to work now. Shine bright! Shine bright, Casey! Thanks for catching up to me. I'm assuming Dexter probably didn't get his. Does that mean I need to share one of mine with Dexter? Oh! Last time, Mega got access. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and look at that book. Mega got access to a bubble something? So let me see if I can... Did, did they just learn it automatically? Or... Do I... Yeah, Bubble Burst. Mega learned Bubble Burst, which is... Damage the target with bubbles. May lower target speed. It's a special attack. It's a water type attack. It costs 3 stamina. It's got 40 power and 100% accuracy. So that is the same power as Chomp. So like neither one of those is going to necessarily be a stronger thing. But if I have somebody who's weak, of course, to water or to foul, I need to read that book to see what in the world foul is because that's a that's a unique thing so mega did learn a skill last time and items maybe was that where it was gauntlet modules a gauntlet module which can collect titan essences okay uh handbooks yes okay the type manual let's take a quick sneaky peeky at this so we have oh we have a row of a row here. Okay, so normal type. It nobody's weak to normal type. It looks like, and but normal is strong to ghost type. Normal is strong against ghost type. It. No. Oh no. So. Okay, so we take extra damage from ghost type. We deal less damage to ghost type. Normal that is, and normal takes two x damage from. Poison type? Yeah, that's poison type. Okay. So I'm just going to click through real quick and I'm going to see what types we have. We have normal type, we have an electric type, ghost, sand, fire, ice, water. Okay, so do we have... We have seven types. Normal, electric, ghost, sand, fire, ice, water. And then we have some types that are skill types only. So there's a magic skill type, a foul skill type, heavy, air, poison, and cut. That's an interesting name. Okay, so we have some skills that like will have specific types, like that foul type. There's not like foul type Pokemon, which would have been interesting. I would have been very interested to know the explanation for that. I wonder if that's like a party foul, or like when you get a red card or something, you know? Or if it's supposed to be like, oh, this impish, because it's got that icon. I don't know. Um, so my Mega does have Chomp, which is a foul move, which does... Interesting. Okay, so foul moves do 2x damage to water types. Okay. And it only does half damage to sand types. Okay, so that's good to remember for the chomp move is that if I'm going up against a water type, then clearly I want to use foul. That's nice that my foul, that my water Pokemon immediately comes with something to like give it a hit against other water Pokemon because I'm going to have like kitten paws smacking with water things. Um, and then we have bubble beam, which is going to be a water type, which does twice the amount of damage to fire and sand. It takes half damage from, am I reading that correctly? From sand, water, and fire. It does half damage to other water, electric, and ice. I'm not going to remember all these, by the way. I might, I might pick it up, but like... Anyway, there's some people in the park now that we've taken a pe Oh! Oh, we've got our first battle already. I didn't even realize that this tall grass counted. Oh, yay! It's an armado. I want this baby, because look, they're really cute. Okay, so before he was saying that I could click to try and find out. Okay, yes. So if I click on Armado, I think I can see that they're a normal type because they've got this little diamond icon. I think that's what they was. So maybe I can try and put them in my normal spinner that I just got. Um, 
I don't know if this means they take 2x damage for poison or they deal 2x damage for poison. I don't know. I, I'll have to go over those things later. But this is a normal type kiddo. Okay, so I don't know that either one of these is particularly strong against normal type. Um, let's just, let's just use a chomp. So this is a level 3 Armado. I did 4 damage, so I should be able to do a couple of them. Armado's using Concentrate. What does that do? Is that raising... That's raising their critical hit chance. Okay, well, preferably don't do that. So I'm gonna attack this thing one more time. And fully rested kept us from taking full damage there. Okay, I'm gonna attack this Armado one more time. Okay, he's down to two health points out of 15. I am... I really want this cute little kiddo. I love Armadillos. They're considered pests, I know, but I, I just, I think they deserve more affection than they get, even if they are kind of stinky. Like, literally, they, the, the smell of an armadillo is not the greatest thing in the world. Not, like, proverbially stinky. Anyway, <laughs> let's toss our plane spinner out at this armado and see if we can get this, this one. The spinner's not very interesting either, it's just sort of a sad silverish tone, I guess. It's not very bright. Give a nickname to the car- Give a nickname to the Cotter motto. Uh, no. Not yet. Because I want to learn about our motto before I go ahead and give them a nickname. I'll, I'll think of a nickname, maybe. So, our motto is... They're a standard potential. They are a normal type. Our motto are common out in this world. I found them in Radiant Park. That's where we are. And they know Scratch and Concentrate. We saw them display both of us, both of those against us. Scratch the target with sharp claws has a 20% increased critical hit chance. It's a cut move. All right, it's a physical. It's about as strong as our attacks are. It's got power 40 and 100% accuracy. So that's about as strong as our attacks are. And Concentrate. The user increases its concentration, raising its critical hit chance, which seems like it pairs nicely with Scratch. That's a status attack, and it's a normal type move as well. Armado isn't holding anything. Armado has no special traits. That's disappointing. Armado joined your squad. So this Armado has no special traits. So that means not everyone is guaranteed to have special traits. Let's talk to Sylvia. My Patterbit is almost strong enough to evolve. Then we can finally go on quests for Lux Solace. Brielle says, Wild Coromon can jump out at you in walking in the grass, so be sure to have enough strong Coromon to protect yourself. There's a chest over here. I'd like to loot it. I found one spinner. That's nice. Oh, and, an, and two SP cakes. Sorry. Two HP cakes and one SP cake. Small. All of them. Let's talk to this gentleman here in their plaid. Jerome says, I'm trying to capture a Coromon, but they keep breaking out of my spinners. Perhaps you could help me? Could you catch one for me? That would help me so much. Come back to me when you caught one. Anyone will do. Quest started spinner problems. Oh, I have a side quest. Okay. Fred says, come on, Jerome. Focus. Remember what I taught you. Weaken a wild Coromon to increase your chance to capture it. So... Could I just technically give him his this armado I just caught? Oh! So I could give him this armado. Do I really want to give him my, mar my armado, though? Wait. Oh, I could back out of it. Okay, do I want to give him my armado? My armado doesn't have any stats, which is made why I'm... Let me go catch something else and see what's up. I'll either... Because, like, that's my armado, though. <gasps> A little sill quill. It's a little crow. It looks so angy. It looks so angy. Okay, can I check this one out? This is a also a, a normal Coromon. I don't think I would have wanted to use that thing on though because the darker gray will look nice with the sill quills. Um, darker feathers. So I'm just going to use the normal chomp. I'm going to... Oh! 
Good golly, I told this baby has no defense. That one chomp took out seven of its health points. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and use a spinner then, because I don't want to risk knocking it out. Let's see. It does have four health points still, so this it might break out, but... No, I caught it. Silkwill was caught. Give a nickname to the caught Silkwill? No, not yet. Again, same thing. Would you like to check out Silkwill in the Coromon summary? Yes, I would. Silkwill is a standard potential. They're a common rarity. And they only know Claw. Attack the target with sharp claws with a 10% chance to lower defense. That is also a cut type. It's also power 40. That seems like the standard power for attacks for all these little babies. It doesn't look like anyone's having any higher or lower things. So Silkwill joined my squad. Mega earned 6 experience points. That's nice. Okay, so do I want to give Jerome either one of those kiddos? I am not normally a bird person, but Silkwill's like angry face. Oh, I forgot to check and see if Silkwill had any um, summary. If they had, they have robber, which is the one where to the spoils go to the victor, steal 50% extra gold when defeating a trainer. Do I want to give them either one of my kiddos? If I give them Armado, I have to catch another Armado. And I feel like I have to nickname either one. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to cut it here. If you guys have an opinion on whether or not I should give them Armado or Silkwill, let me know. Armado is level 3, Silkwill is 1. Or if I should just catch something new for them. Or if I should just, like, catch until I have a duplicate. The way I play other monster catching games is I usually don't catch things until I'm, like, I want them on my team. But I'm not going to... I'm going to try and catch them all in this one. Just because it's a brand new thing and, like, I don't know all of the monsters in this one and I think it would be fun to just see them all and fill out the the logbook or the database that's what I want the database so if you have an opinion on if I should give Jerome Armado or if I should give Jerome Silquill let me know if you don't have an opinion then or if you know I will decide next time who knows Thank you for watching. Wait, I see a mushroom. Can I go up here and... No, I can't. It's just there for... Let me check the trash cans, because you gotta check the trash cans. Ha! <laughs> Found 150 gold in the trash cans. Okay, I'm gonna go heal these kids so that Jerome doesn't have... If I give him either one of them, so he doesn't have a weak thing. Thank you for watching. Let me know your opinion if you have one. If not, I mean, I'll figure it out myself next time. And... Uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Shine bright, fellow trainers.